Once you have logged on to UTouch POS restaurant software, you will see a dining area located on the main screen. Before we can start to make sales, you will have to input your menu items. To do so, we're going to click on Back Office in the left corner. Then, we are going to click on Menu. Once you have opened Menu Management, you will see that your items can be separated into groups as well as categories. You can also add modifiers to certain items. These modifiers can also be separated into groups. We are going to start by adding a menu category. To add a new menu category, click Add New. Click on the item to insert its name. You can also decide which order the categories will show in when there is more than one. And you can add a description for each category. Click anywhere on the screen and you will see that your new menu category has been added. Once you have added all of your menu categories, we're going to click on Menu Group. To add a new group, click Add New. You can see on the left that the menu groups are split into menu categories. To choose the category, click in the Item Category column and scroll down to select the appropriate category. You can also choose a color. This color will be shown when you are making sales. There are a range of different colors that you can choose for the button of these groups. Select a color and you will be able to see the new color in the column. We are also going to enter the name of the group. Which order it will be shown in. And its description. Click anywhere on the screen. And you will see that your new menu group has been added. Once you have added all of your menu groups, we will begin to input items by clicking on the Menu Item tab. To add a new menu item, click Add New. Now, you can select which group this item will belong to. Click in the Menu Group column and scroll down to select the appropriate group. Once again, we can select a color for the button of this item. I'm going to select the same color as the group it is placed in. We are going to enter the name of the item. order it will be shown in, and its description. You will also see there is an option for a barcode. This will become helpful if you are selling things such as bags of coffee, which will have a barcode attached to them. Once you have added your menu item, you can insert a price for this item. If you have a kitchen printer or a bar printer that this item will be printed to, you will select the appropriate printer. If you want it to print to more than one printer, you can select more than one. 
Make sure to press save so that your changes will be applied. If there is a modifier for this option, such as adding cheese or choosing what type of bread, you're going to go into the modifier group. To add a new group, click add new. Again, you can choose the color of the button. Enter the name for the group of modifiers. And decide which order they will be shown in. You can also add a description. Click anywhere on the screen and you will see that your new modifier group has been added. Once you have added all of your modifier groups, we are going to add the modifiers themselves by clicking on the modifier tab. To add a new modifier, click add new. Now, you can decide what group this modifier will be a part of by clicking in the column and selecting the appropriate group. Choose a color for your button. And enter the modifier name. Finally, we will add the order that it is shown in and the item description. Next, we will decide what item the modifier will be attached to by selecting Modifier Mapping. You can see on the left a list of the items that have been added and on the right the groups of modifiers that have been made. To add a modifier to an item we're going to select the modifier group by clicking in the box and select the appropriate item. We are going to use the left arrow to add the modifier. If you wish to delete a modifier, you will make sure that the modifier is selected and click the right arrow to delete it. Once you have finished entering all your items and the proper modifiers, your inventory setup is finished. You can close the menu management and the back office and your changes will have been saved.